so let us say you want to set up a jira instance and uh, in the beginning you are wondering about uh, the backup policies and uh, the right way of uh, taking backups and also restoring backups so today let us talk about uh, backups and uh, restoration now this is of course in response to a question asked on the community from niranjan and uh, niranjan is basically asking about uh, a backup strategy for uh, jira and confluence now i can definitely share a few things uh, related to this uh, backup strategy that you can implement and of course uh, these are just my suggestions each company each organization is uh, different now talking about uh, backups first of all you do have the option to take uh, regular backups in uh, jira and confluence those backups are xml backups and those backups normally work fine but uh, atlassian doesn't really recommend xml backups as a reliable as a reliable way to um to basically take backups and uh, in my experience i would say 99.9% of the times those backups work fine and uh, usually you have uh, the backup service in jira that you can configure and also in uh, confluence now talking about uh, native backups now if you're talking about uh, jira and confluence both jira and confluence have their file system so usually there is a home directory and uh, install directory and i'm of course talking about uh, both the applications jira and confluence at the same time you also have uh, your uh, database now for taking native backups you should backup all these three things number 1 your home directory number 2 your application directory and uh, number 3 your uh, database backups now how do you do this so you should write some scripts to take a backup of your file compress it and move it to a different location and then you can configure cron to basically run the script periodically now it is a very simple way of uh, taking a backup because uh, when you take a backup of files and database and you have a time stamp it really uh, is uh, the only thing that you need to worry about uh, files and database that is it for database backup you can uh, use some native backup tools like for postgres you can use pg_dump for mysql you you can use mysql dump and you can actually configure uh, database backups in your backup scripts so basically when you take a backup of a file or a folder let us say your home directory just add in the same script steps to take a backup of database using pg_dump or mysql dump also make sure you have a timestamp in your uh, backup files so let us say if the script is running running 9 am every day or maybe 12 am every day make sure there is a timestamp so that you know that this backup of home directory install directory and uh, database was taken at 12 am on a specific day which is always important now talking about uh, snapshots so you can always take a snapshot of the whole machine let us say if you are on azure or aws maybe from time to time you can take snapshots and uh, that is of course uh, the simplest thing that you can do now talking about restoring now restoring is uh, very simple let us say things go wrong and you have a backup of files and database so just re- restore the files just restore the home directory install directory and database and uh, that is it now i have shared in this particular post i have shared uh, links to 
different uh, pages so if you if you if you read this page of course we are talking about jira it has all the information about uh, the backups basically everything that i just talked about in this video i'm just uh, sharing what atlassian also recommends so they are talking about uh, taking a backup of uh, the directories and of course uh, backing up the database so they also recommend that take a backup of the database using the native tool database nat native database tools now for taking database backup for postgres for example for a specific version you can refer to this page they, they have all the links um, i usually prefer taking pg underscore dump all and it, it takes care of all the databases because sometimes you are using let us say zbi so you have uh, jira database you have also this ezbi database so i use dump all and that takes care of everything and i can always restore it so if, if you read this page you can always uh, take a look at the exact exact commands now for restoring as i just mentioned you just have to restore the home directory install directory and uh, the database and that is it so having a good database strategy is uh, really important because uh, you need backups in case things go wrong and things go wrong for sure also one more thing that i wanted to uh, mention is that when you whenever you're taking a backup using some scripts let us say you have a script that is taking the backup of home directory install directory and also the uh, database also write to a file so create a log file where you keep track of all the all the uh, database or file backups that were taken so whenever there there is a job that runs make an entry in a file like backup taken at this time also when you move the backup file to a different location maybe you want to get rid of them maybe you want to get rid of rid of the old backup files so also write another script to delete the old backup files that are probably not needed and of course it really depends on your company's policy like maybe you want to get rid of the old backups backups maybe taken one month ago or something which is more relevant for your organization and also when you delete the old backup files make sure you keep a log of those deleted backup files now i'm talking about this log because when you take a backup or when you delete a backup and when things go wrong this log file can be really valu valuable because you know that this job ran at this particular time and we have a backup and uh, did the, the, that particular backup was taken so it is like one additional step or not really a step but one additional assurance that backup was taken so when you write scripts to take a backup uh, these are the simple things that you can do and to be honest uh, everything that i talked about in this video you know, i've been talking about the scripts they are like very simple scripts it is just a matter of commands that you will type to take a backup manually like let us say if you if you have to take a backup of a file or a folder let us say you will do tar dot tar hyphen c z v f whatever and the you know you know the file name with the timestamp so just put everything in a in a file and uh, you know make sure your script is perfect it runs and uh, the timestamp is dynamic when you add an entry in the cron tab uh, make sure you are using the full path of your uh, commands that you're typing and uh, just test it of just test it you know couple of times and it is not at all difficult to have some strategy around backup and uh, even if you're talking about scripts uh, i prefer writing shell scripts if you're of course talking about linux based server you can do the same thing on uh, windows server but of course not using shell scripts uh, but people who are experts in uh, um windows based tools they can definitely do the same thing exactly the same thing so this is all i wanted to share in this uh, video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much